dear Kenyans and people of goodwill. The second religious leaders convocation has been held at Ufungamano House on the 4th and the 5th of December 2019, bringing together more than 300 religious leaders from different faiths across the country. The objective of this convocation was to validate the report of our county dialogue conferences held between April and July 2019, and also to review the report released by the Presidential Task Force on Building Bridges. The convocation reflected and invites all Kenyans to be inspired by the scripture recorded in Jeremiah 32, verse 38 to 39, which reads, and I quote, They will be my people, and I'll be their God. I will give them singleness of heart and action, so that they will always fear me for their own good and the good of their children after them. And also from our Quran, chapter 26, verse 38, which says, Dialogue amongst yourselves. And also from the chapter 16, verse 125, 5, which say, reads, and dialogue with them is always that are best and most gracious. The convocation was thus inspired and re-emphasized the centrality of dialogue, resolving conflicts and disputes, and wishes to highlight the following. Number one, consolation to all our affected flood uh, people in, in with, by floods. We are saddened and concerned about a high number of deaths, injured and destruction of property due to ongoing heavy rains and floods in our country. We continue to pray for comfort and consolation of the bereaved families, and especially those who have lost their dear ones in big numbers, and those affected, that God will grant them quick recovery. And meantime, we appeal to our families near them and near one another, those who are suffering, and our neighbors to help each other as we cry out to the government and other stakeholders. Even as we commend the government for the intervention to rescue affected individuals and families, we also have our own responsibility to stay safe and also help each other. On our part, we will have campaigns in our places of worship, and by this day, we want to ask members of our faiths, wherever you are, collect food items, collect clothes, non-food items and share them with your places of worship so that they can help whoever is nearest to them. But of course, start with your neighbor who is needy. Nonetheless, we also call upon a national and county governments to take seriously the importance of uh, effective disaster management and preparedness. It is in great rebuke, the government, that despite clear warnings about the coming rains, viable in mitigation measures may have not been taken in place in the seriousness they deserve. We need to foresee that time coming when Kenyans will rightfully demand compensation, and they will, from those who are neglect, neglect their duties. About national dialogue processes, in February 2018, we met here at Ufungamano House, the first religious convocation during which we initiated the national dialogue process. This was the recognition of the fact that 
no one single institution or entity, or even in Kenya, had the exclusive legitimacy and legality and neither comprehensive way of resolving the underlying conflicts and challenges that afflict our nation. We reiterate that a national dialogue process that gives all Kenyans opportunity to build consensus is and continue to be the pathway to national cohesion, equity, justice, and envisage the constitution as is envisaged in our constitution 2010. Our county dialogue conferences that took place this year, last year, and this year. In this regard, we thank more than 4,000 multi-sectoral leaders who participated and shared their views during the 44 county dialogue conferences that were held in many of the counties in our country, Kenya. The county dialogue conferences were organized by Dialogue Conference Group as the second stage of the national dialogue process after the national dialogue conference we had one at this same hall of Fungamano. The consolidated, the consolidated report from the conference indicates that the solution made by National Dialogue Conference in September 2018 were endorsed. In addition, the conference profiled other national and county specific issues that came out from our counties and their concerns that should be part of our dialogue processes. These include the centrality of the family in our country and Kenya and as human people and humanity. That the family is the foundation of our society. And there is great now, great need to protect it and nurture and strengthen the family as a basic social unit to address the current wave of violence within the family and to take care of all those matters that are challenging our family today. Towards this, we ask the government and involve stakeholders, of course ourselves first, to accelerate the development of the family policy together with the implement implementation plan. It is expected that the family policy will institute a lifelong character formation framework and inclusion of values. Strengthening the family unit is necessary to enable our country to address the prevailing moral challenges and decadence. On our part as religious leaders, we commit to continue to partner and do our role in different, with st different stakeholders to enhance marriage and parenting capacity building while establishing safe spaces for intergenerational consultation and dialogue. About our natural resources in our country, it is clear that in many counties, some people and many people are bitter because of the inequality an inequitable exploitation of natural resources that only benefit a few people and more so local and international business corporations. There is need to recognize that if dialogue is not initiated with the communities where these minerals or resources are found, violence and conflicts of huge magnitude are likely to erupt in the coming years. We already have signs in some places in our countries, as you may want to know. Towards this, there's a need for reali uh, realistic public participation 
in, for, in finalization the implementation of the laws on extractives, extractives that have already been passed in Parliament. About land and ownership, it is in most counties, it's a common knowledge, that there's, need, need, there's a deep anger of some citizens, many citizens, for decades, uh, for decades not to have issued with them with title deeds. The government has tried, we know, in many parts, but there's still a very slow process. While the few who are privileged and influential are granted ownership of prime lands, indeed, land tenure and use be, has been the trigger of many conflicts in our country. We call upon the different arms of government and the, the, to play their role to address the chaos and the impunity associated with the land registries, which must be brought to an end.